This is K9WLW with another video. Uh, this video is about how you can leave your Pi Star hotspot, what I call locked and loaded. And what I mean by that is there's nothing that says you can't leave your Pi Star on 24 7 and ready to go in the event that you want to use it. I'm just going to demonstrate a way that I like to leave mine locked and loaded. Uh, some of you may not have all three of these digital modes. Some of you may have two of the three. Some of you may have one of the three. But regardless of how many of the modes you use, you can leave it ready to go at a moment's notice without having to reconfigure it. Uh, when I say locked and loaded, I basically have it set up so that it is ready for a radio command from any of the active digital modes. Now you can see up here in the configuration, I have the DMR mode switch on, I have the D-Star mode switch on, and I have the YSF mode switch on. And when you activate more than one mode, and it's in standby and there's no traffic coming in, the hotspot will scan all three modes continuously waiting to hear traffic. And the moment traffic comes through in one of the digital modes, it'll lock into that mode. And next to the configuration switches, you see something called RF hang time and net hang time. I don't know the specifics of that, but those are 20 second settings and those are the default settings when you configure your Pi Star. So I'm not recommending that you change those, but what I do know about those is whenever you hear a digital mode that comes through, after the last transmission ends in the network, whether it's your transmission or someone else's, it'll continue to listen in the digital mode that you're using or listening to at the time and it will continue to listen to only that mode for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds of inactivity it will then go into a scan mode and scan all three of the digital modes to find if any of the three have any radio traffic now the reason I call it locked and loaded is even though I have all three modes on and even though it's scanning you will not hear any radio traffic until I make some changes which I'll get to uh, to kind of give you an idea of how I have the three digital modes set up, I have my DMR configuration set to be connected to Brandmeister 3102. I have the D-Star section, default reflector, 30 Charlie. But equally as important, over to the right of the default reflector, I have it set up for manual not startup. Uh, a lot of you set it up for startup and every time you hit apply changes or every time that your Pi Star reboots it will link to your default reflector. You have to choose a default reflector. It doesn't let you skip that. But if you set it to manual every time it reboots or every time you hit apply changes it will connect to D-Star unlinked so you won't get any reflector traffic. That's very important. Last but not least, in the Yesu System Fusion configuration, the YSF startup host, rather than selecting a default reflector, it does allow you to select none. So that means anytime you hit apply changes, anytime that your Pi Star reboots, it will not link to a YSF reflector by itself. It will not link to a D Star reflector by itself it will connect to the Brandmeister server, but we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, moving to the admin page. You'll notice that the modes are all three enabled. D-Star, DMR, and YSF. The network status, I'm connected to the three networks, D-Star Net, DMR Net, YSF Net. Right where it says radio info, you'll see that it says listening in green. When you see the word listening in green and you have two or more modes active at the same time as I do here, it is actually scanning those three modes. 
listening in green means it's scanning for any radio traffic to come out of any of those active modes. It won't activate now because we haven't done anything to trigger that. You'll see that my D-Star repeater section, it says not linked at the bottom. You'll see DMR repeater, it says BM3102 United States. So I am linked to the server, but you're not going to hear traffic because I have not activated any dynamic talk groups. And of course the YSF network, even though it's up and running, it is not linked to any reflector. And because of that, none of these three modes are going to trigger any transmissions out of the hotspot. And it's going to just continue scanning as long as I leave it locked and loaded in this fashion. Now what I mean by locked and loaded is I've got three active modes available. I've got three digital radios at my disposal right here in front of me. I've got the Anytone for DMR, a Yesu for Fusion, and an ICOM for D-Star. Let's start off with DMR. Again, it is scanning for any and all modes. All three of them are programmed to the same frequency. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the DMR radio and I'm going to key up Brandmeister Top Group 91. Now because it's scanning, you want to look at this radio info where it says listening in green. You have to hold the push to talk for roughly two seconds for it to wake the hotspot up. And you'll see a change. I'm hitting push to talk now. RX DMR. I've unkeyed now. And right away, the hotspot is in DMR. See where it says radio info? It's transmitting DMR in time slot 2. My DMR radio is now active on talk group 91. Over here on the admin page, you can see my Brandmeister active Brandmeister connections, dynamic talk group 91. So as long as I get radio traffic, it'll stay in the DMR mode. The other two modes are still on standby and no way they will interrupt because they're both unlinked. Okay, now it's a little tricky getting out of the DMR talk group, especially if it's busy. So I'm going to use a Brandmeister tool called Brandmeister Manager to drop the QSO. That'll give me a pause so I can key a 4000 group call unlink command. There, it just cut off his transmission. I'll key up a 4000, unlink command, and you'll hear the command that it unlinked. Not linked. Okay, so now the traffic is gone. It's still going to listen to DMR for that 20 second hang time. It says listening DMR. Listening DMR. I have to wait for that to go back to just listening. That's that scan mode. So it only takes 20 seconds from the last transmission. There. It is now scanning and listening for any kind of transmission in any of the three modes. So I'm going to grab my Yesu radio and I'm going to hit the wires X button to address the hotspot. A quick press of that. It transmits. Okay, it apparently didn't hear it, so let me try it again. Okay, I, first I have to hit the push to talk for a couple of seconds to wake up the YSF, so I'm going to do that. And now it's listening YSF. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds of key down to wake it up. Now I can hit the wires X. And now I can address the hotspot in YSF with the radio. So I'm going to search for a reflector. I'm going to go into YSF reflector list that I have set up in here. I'm going to go into America Link. 
hit the back button and it shows that I'm linked to America link so if there's any radio traffic now it'll come out YU2 DVD this is Kilo Charlie 9 November Juliet Mike are you still with me Dragon? okay so now it's active in YSF while DMR and ICON, or um, DMR and D-Star, I should say, are both on standby. Hi, in November, Julius Mike, Yankee on your phone, two, DVD. Thank you for contact, Bob, and a good day. Greetings now, it can get a little yeah. tricky getting out of a busy reflector with YSF. With the FT2D and the FT3D, if there's a pause, you can press and hold the band button. It'll send a quick transmission to the hotspot, not connected. So I have unlinked from the YSF reflector. Now we're going to wait the 20 seconds for the listening YSF to go away, and it'll go back to just listening, which is scanning. There we go. Now it's scanning all three of the digital modes. Now I can grab the D-Star radio. And I'm going to load up a link to Reflector 30 Charlie in the radio. Now you want to transmit for about two seconds when it's in the scan mode so that it acknowledges that it's heard the D-Star transmission. We'll watch this listening green indicator to know when it has heard my transmission. So I'm hitting push to talk now. Holding. Release. Link to RPS030 Charlie. There you go. Now it is linked to 30 Charlie and it is listening in D Star. I've unlinked YSF. The talk groups in DMR are unlinked, so they're not going to bother me at all. So even if the radio goes silent a while, it will pick up D Star transmissions if anyone keys up even though the other two modes are active. To get out of the D-Star, simply do a reflector, unlink reflector, push to talk, release. Not linked. There it is, unlinked. Now it's still listening D-Star. Remember the 20 second hang time. After 20 seconds, it'll go to listening, and it is back. It will be back in that scanning standby mode. Now, you'll notice I only utilized one digital mode at a time, even though the switch is on for all three modes. And all it took to get into a mode was a radio command from the type of radio I wanted to get in with. I keyed up a talk group with the AnyTone. It activated DMR and got me into a group. I hit 4,000 group call to get out and I waited 20 seconds. I then did a wires X command with the ASU radio to address the hotspot and selected a YSF reflector. I then unlinked from the reflector by pressing and holding the band button and I did an unlink waited and then keyed up a link command with the icon now if you don't want to use the radio commands with YSF or D star you do have the option to use the admin page you have a D star link manager where you can dial up a reflector like if I just hit the request change button that'll link me to 30 Charlie And if I want to unlink, I can also use the dashboard on the admin page. Request change unlink. And the same thing holds true with YSF. You can select a reflector from the long list of reflectors and then hit the link button down here in the YSF link manager. Hit request change and it'll link in. Or you can just hit the unlink button right there and then request change and the dashboard or the admin page will unlink you. So you can go either way with those two type of radios. 
With the DMR radio, you have to be able to do a group call 4000 to deactivate the dynamic talk group. There's no way to do it directly from the hotspot. If you get jammed up on the DMR side, if you have the Brandmeister Manager, you can hit the drop QSO button that you see there. And that will interrupt the talk group so that you can key up a group call 4000 to the hotspot to get it to unlink. But it's very radio centric with the uh, with DMR. You have to key up a talk group. You have to key up a group call 4000 to get out. Um, with the ASU and with the D Star, you can use radio commands or the admin page. But as it stands right now, I'm out of all three modes, even though they're all three up and running, all three of them on standby, all three waiting to be addressed. So you can use one at a time wisely if you only link in on one at a time, but you can still leave them all three active, and that way you don't have to keep reconfiguring your hotspot. That way, when you're done, you can just leave your hotspot on like this. You can... Um, leave it for days. It'll remain connected to the internet. You won't get bothered by any stray radio traffic. And all your overnight nightly Pi Star updates will occur automatically by being connected around the clock. So that is why I refer to this as being locked and loaded. It is ready to go, waiting for a radio command from any of the three networks. It can work with one network. It can work with two. It can work with three. And I suspect if you have a P25 and or an NXDN radio, it probably will work with those. I couldn't say for sure because I don't know the commands of those radios to unlink reflectors. But if anyone has any comments about NXDN on Pi Star or P25 on Pi Star and how to unlink from radio commands, I'd certainly like to know about it. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that was interesting for some of you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email me at cq2meters. That's cq followed by the number 2 meters at yahoo.com. 73s from K9WLW.